This is Jim Smith of Golden Real Estate and today I'm showing you a, a most unusual home designed by the owner who's an architect and it, it has two driveways, actually one driveway that swings around the entire perimeter of the lot which is over half an acre. It's on this very quiet street, Tabor Street off of 20th Street, 20th Avenue I mean, near Sims. And it's just, except for that jet overhead, it is an extremely quiet neighborhood and well, well taken care of by the owners. And this is a particularly good example of it. Let's go up this side of the circular driveway and I'll show you the front lawn, front yard really. This is buffalo grass, which hardly ever needs mowing. I think it's buffalo grass. Anyway, it's it's not it's not blue uh, bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, but some beautiful landscaping here, which I think you'll appreciate. Now here is the 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 so-called front entrance, but it's not the entrance you'll use. Let's walk around this little path this way, and I'll show you where you and your guests will be coming in, because your guests will be parking behind the house along the circular driveway. Okay, here's the other side of the driveway, and there's my car parked up there. And then there's this two-car garage here, oversized garage with a carport next to it. So you got parking for three, and there's this really nice pergola, which is covered with vines, so it's shaded in the summer. Well, here's, here's the other front entrance, so to speak. This is where your guests will come in. So let's go inside this door and check out the main floor and then we'll go to the basement and out to the backyard. Coming in the front door, there are a couple things you notice right away. One is that ceramic tile flooring is throughout this main level. And the second is that the ceilings are vaulted here because it is a one-story home with a basement. And there's lots of windows, but there's also lots of skylights. So flooding this home with natural light. The ceramic tile floor is also radiantly heated with hot water, so it's radiant floor heating on this level with the boiler that you'll see downstairs. And this is the dining room, and here's that main entrance that I was telling you about, which has this nice seating area out here and a sunscreen for the western sun if you want it. Very pleasant, though. Here's a, a, one of two offices in the house. This one facing that porch. And then the stairway to the basement is in the middle, so you walk around it. Here's the kitchen. Very nice kitchen with a seating area for eating in the kitchen. Under cabinet lighting. Again, high, high windows. Just a very nice kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. A five burner gas range here. I like that myself. So does my wife. Here's a sort of a second living room, which is also their TV room, as you can see. And there's the door to the foyer. This is a pantry. And here's a guest bathroom. Now it's a full bath, as you, and you'll see why in a moment, because walk down this hallway here, and you have the master suite at this end and the a guest bedroom at the other end. Again, vaulted ceilings, making it feel very light and airy. And here's a interesting closet. Got bifold doors there and there. Here's, here's the shower. There's the vanity. And here's the toilet. Oh, and by the way, this is a laundry chute. Linen closet there as well. Now leaving the master suite down here is that guest bedroom and this was a, a girl's bedroom and she really liked the the sky with the uh, reflect those are those phosphorescent 
stars that are glued to the ceiling so they light up at night and look at that a little loft up there so any child would just love this bedroom and here is the other door to that full bathroom that you can access from the kitchen so that's the main level let's go down the stairs now and check out the basement in the basement now, here's a extra large family room, L-shaped room over here for television and down here for pool or whatever you want to do here. Now notice that on this level, it's got hot water baseboard heat. The radiant floor heating is only upstairs. And I also want you to notice that every room in this basement, except the unfinished area, which I'll be showing you, has above grade windows. And it's all carpeted, except for the unfinished area. Well, I keep talking about it. Here it is. Here's the unfinished area. You can check out the excellent construction here. Here's that uh, boiler that provides the radiant floor heating upstairs and the baseboard hot water heating here. Over here, there's a workshop. And this is understair storage, but not just any understair storage. It is a uh, cedar closet. So that's the unfinished area. Now let's check out the second office and the third and fourth bedroom. Here's the office. Again, notice the above grade windows. Here's one of the two bedrooms. And here's the bathroom. Full bath serving this floor with a tub shower there. Vinyl floor, it looks like tile. And down here is the other bedroom, again with above grade windows, so you get to really get some fresh natural light outside. So that's the lower level, the garden level basement, as we call it. Let's go outside now and check out the yard. Coming out the kitchen door, you notice this stamped concrete patio here, covered. And here's the yard. You can hear birds, nice trees, and uh, other foliage, other plants, bushes, shrubs. Just a really nice yard. A gate to the circular driveway there. And a great a gate to the side yard here, which you didn't see when we entered in the beginning. But you'll notice that there's some raised bed gardening here, protected from deer and birds with some netting. Nice ground cover there. There's the detached garage, architecturally compatible with, of course, with this house. And here's a, this is nice and shaded in the summer because of these vines, but it, it's just a, a pergola that uh, connects the two. Coming through this gate, here's the garage. Turn on the light. Actually, I'll open the door too. It's a nice oversized garage. Room for bicycles. And it has its own sub panel, including a 240 volt outlet for charging. In fact, their black cord is their cord because they have an electric car. So that's the, that's the garage. Nicely finished, you notice the walls are finished and painted and insulated, and that's an insulated garage door, I believe. Of course, the attic is not insulated, so. And, but it does have natural light over there and over here, and the door to the garage has a window as well. And so we walk out this pergola and here we are in front of the garage. And there's my car again. And there's the carport 
with their second car in it. Now this driveway is shared with this neighbor's house. So on this side, you do, they have an easement. The driveway actually belongs to this house, but they have an easement. So thanks for touring this wonderful home at the eastern edges of Applewood on a hill. I didn't show you because it's kind of smoky from the forest fires, but there's mountain views, partial mountain view at least. If you'd like to see this home in person, I'd be glad to show it to you. You can reach me anytime on my cell phone at 303-525-1851 or email me at jim at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.